Let me give you two tricks to asking better questions. A carpenter entered the doctor's office. The receptionist asked him why he was there. I have shingles, the carpenter replied. So the carpenter was brought into a room and a nurse was summoned. The nurse came in and asked, why are you here today? I have shingles, was the answer. She took his blood pressure, his temperature, his height, weight, told him to get fully undressed and changed into that backless gown and wait for the doctor. When the doctor came in, the mostly naked carpenter now told him, I have shingles. Where? The doctor asked. By now, the, car the carpenter was starting to lose his patience. Where do you think? Outside in my truck. And so goes the problem about not asking good or enough questions. Voltaire said, it is best to judge a man by his questions rather than by his answers. So maybe you are not moving forward in your career or in your business or in your marriage or fill in the blank, maybe because you are not asking the right questions. Maybe you need to become better at asking questions. The best way to get smarter, to grow and to improve is to ask questions, a lot of them. When we ask questions, we open ourselves up to collecting more information, information that we wouldn't necessarily get otherwise. That's largely because when we ask questions, if we do it right, we are admitting that we don't know and we are removing the bias that we are plagued with and that default thinking that we normally go to. Let me give you two tricks to asking better questions. You ready? Here's number one. Lead your questions with how. For example, not will you be on time, but how likely is it that you will be on time? You see the difference? Not will you hit your goal, but how likely is it that you will hit your goal? You'll get a very different answer. Not how are you, but how sure are you? Not are you supportive, but how supportive are you? Not is this a good idea, but how good of an idea is this? You see how how improves the question dramatically? That's cool, right? Okay, number two. You wanna peel the onion a layer or two deeper. Ask one of these follow-up questions. Well, what makes you think that? You see, that weeds out speculation and from the but opinions. Well, where did you hear that? Or who did you hear that from? You see, that finds out if there was gossip that can be killed. Can you explain what you mean by that? Often something sounds good in somebody's head, but then when they're made to explain it, they self-expose that they really don't know what they're talking about. And, hmm, I'm not familiar with that theory or idea or event or person. Could you fill me in and let them twist in their tangled web as they attempt to deceive? Check this out. This clip is from the Jimmy Kimmel Show. He sent a team out to Coachella with a list of completely made up bands and asked people what they thought of these fictitious bands. Listen to how they responded. One of my favorite bands this year is Dr. Shlomo and the GI Clinic. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah, they're always amazing. Yeah, he's really good on the flexing. Yeah, I'm really excited to see them live. I think that's gonna be one of the bands Me that's too. gonna be really great Definitely live. Definitely a highlight. Yeah. Are you guys as excited as I am about the obesity epidemic? I, I just I just like their whole style, like their whole genre is just great. They're kind of like very like innovative and they're new. There's some smaller bands that are playing, yeah. Two Door Cinema Club. Yeah, I'm looking forward they're to them. Good. Yeah. yeah. Do you like their, their album, DJ Cornmeal? Yeah, actually, I, um, I had a radio show on uh, community radio station up in Canada and I used to spin them all the time. Oh wow, sounds so, like a great yeah. show. Yeah. One of my favorite bands this year is called Get the F*** Out of My Pool. Yeah, actually, that I've heard from my friends, I don't know any of their music, but I've heard from my friends that it's not something to miss, so I'm not gonna miss it. One of my favorite things today, straight out of Williamsburg, the Chelsea Clintons. Oh yeah, I have heard of them actually, no, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna see them or not, but I do know of their music. What, did, what, did, you, what did you hear about it's, them? I, they're just fun. What's fun about the Chelsea Clintons? I think they just give off good energy. Yeah. Like, you know, you can just tell that they're doing it from a good place, and it's like, it's, and you can just feel energy, I feel. And like, there's very few acts that like give you that feeling. Did you know that Coachella is actually the American Indian word for dumb white guy? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to leave in that last one. So, there you have it. Two big tips on asking better questions so you don't mistakenly ask your roofer to strip down naked or something like that. So tell us in the comments below, how are you going to use the how question? And in what environments do you probably need to ask better follow-up questions to gain better clarity or to let people self-expose? Tell us that below. If you enjoyed this Darren Daily on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Darren Daily by clicking the button on the screen. 
There you will find a new video every workday to give you one tip or idea to jumpstart your day. Subscriptions are absolutely free of charge. All that I ask is that you like and share this video. Thanks, and I'll see you right back here on Monday.